All right, so this is a part number two. Uh, hopefully you already watched part number one. Good thing is you don't have to have watched that one in order to watch this one, um, but it would be nice to go and check it out because it is the same but different. <laughs> um, so this is another IFC, ICF. Oh, is it ICF? Yeah, it's an ICF, Inmate Communication Form. I believe this may be... I'm trying to remember. I know he submitted three. I don't know. I don't know. But I remember he submitted three together at one point in time. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I hope you didn't catch that yawn. But if you did, you keep it because I don't want it. But I um, remember him submitting three and they couldn't find it right away. I believe. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember for sure. But... I found it. I read one. This is the next one, and we're going to get right into it. So this was filed again on October the 3rd, 2022, to the Circuit Court of Waukesha County, Wisconsin. And it says, this is all handwritten. I'm going to say that in every video I make. Remember, y'all, this is all handwritten. That's why it'll be hard to read, but he actually handwrote all of this stuff. The state of Wisconsin, the plaintiff, versus all caps, Darrell E. Brooks, the alleged defendant. This is the notice of special appearance for the defendant by affidavit. Notice of special appearance to the clerk of court and all parties of record. I, Darrell Edward Brooks, Jr., only capitalizing the first letters of each of the names. Am a holder in due course as authorized representative of Darrell E. Brooks. All caps. <laughs> and hereby give this notice of special appearance in this matter for the defendant. New paragraph comes now. Darrell Edward Brooks Jr., only capitalizing the first letter of each of the names, being duly sworn under penalty of perjury, giving this court of record and all parties notice of special appearance as authorized representative for the alleged defendant and says, What? Okay. Mind my business. Mind my business. What does that mean? He made me read all of that over again, first of all. But it says, as authorized representative for the alleged defendant and says, I, De I don't know. Number one, I, Darrell Edwards Brooks Jr., am the holder in due course as third party intervener, making a special appearance as authorized representative for the defendant. What does this do? I really would like for anybody who knows anything about anything, can you please explain to me what this does when he writes this letter? Not what it means. I don't really care what it means. What it does. When he wrote this, what was supposed to happen? Number two, I accept... <laughs> I didn't read these before. I should have so I could get the giggles out. I apologize. Number two, I accept for value and return for value all the charging instruments in this matter and make for exemption as principal available for discharge of all obligations and charges connected with this case. This is the, the hardest thing I've had to read. I can't catch my breath. I cannot believe I had to read those words into the record. <laughs> this is not official. I have never said these words. I don't mean these words. I do accept the value some stuff. I'm going to finish this. Let's, let's just be dead. Number three, I do not dispute the facts contained in the charging instrument. Please use my exemption for the offset and the adjustment of the pub public charges against the defendant and release the order of the court to me immediately. He was saying that. What? 
Y'all tell me what y'all think this means. I appreciate you. You can number yours, number one, number two, number three. You tell me what you think each of these mean. I'm sending you home with homework at this point. And then I'm going I'm to a, I'm a give you a little bit. So here go your extra. This is your bonus points. Which one is your favorite? Hello, appearing for the state of Wisconsin. Sir, state your name for the record, please. Um, I'm here as a third-party intervener. In that matter, appearing as authorized representative for my client. I accept for value and return for value all the charging instruments in this matter and make my exemption available for discharge of all obligations and charges connected with this case. I do not dispute any of the facts in the charging instruments. Also, Your Honor, I would like to make an offer for my appeal, if I may. Um, I'll get to that momentarily. Uh, the record will reflect that the individual uh, known to this court to be uh, Darrell Brooks is appearing uh, in person in custody. Um, we are, of course, outside the presence of the... Daryl Brooks, case number 21 CF 1848. Appearances, please. Gacy and Zach Wichow. Sir, state your name for the record, please. I'm here as a third party intervener in the matter, in this matter, as authorized representative for my client. I accept for value and return for the instruments in this matter and make my exemption available for discharge of all obligations and charges connected with this case. I do not dispute any of the facts in the charging instruments. And for the record, I do not consent to or agree to being called that name that you have identified here today. The record should reflect that the individual known to this court as Daryl Brooks is present in person in custody in street clothes, specifically a suit and tie and a... All right, good morning, everyone. The court will call State of Wisconsin versus Darrell Brooks, case number 21, CF 1848. Uh, record should reflect that the state appears this morning uh, by District Attorney Sue Opper, Deputy District Attorney Leslie Basie, Assistant District Attorney Zach Wichow, uh, and the defendant, Darrell Brooks, appears in person in custody. I'd also like the record to reflect that he is appearing in jail attire today. He's also wearing a mask. I identified by that name and would like the opportunity to state that I'm here concerning this matter as third party intervener in this matter, appearing as authorized representative for my client. I accept for value and return for value all the charging instruments in this matter and make my exemption available for discharge of all obligations and charges connected with this case. I do not dispute any of the facts in the charging instruments and would like to now uh, reserve my rights if I may. Um, Mr. Brooks, you just interrupted me within a minute of us starting this case here today. Respectfully, I'm asking you to respectfully not interrupt me. That's the second time. So I can go through the list of things that I need to get through this morning. I just wanted it stated for the record. That Mr. Brooks, it wasn't the proper time to do that. That's now the third interruption. 